Winter Park Arts Festival in Winter Park, Florida. And I'm going to go across the way and meet my neighbor, the one, the only, the art show fixture, Bruce Pizzo. There he is. Hi. You know, good to see you, Bruce, okay. again. Um, I have seen you around the, the circuit, if you will, for so many years, and it's so great because, as, as we can see, uh, your work is very unique. I can spot it from a mile away. And Bruce is from Monson, Massachusetts, and we still manage to bump into each other. Tell me, you've been doing this like forever, right? For full time for about, just about 46 years. That's quite a while. Yeah, just, yeah. How did you do that when you're only like 36? It just doesn't work. You start really, really young. <laughs> <laughs> so I pretty much started like two years out of college. I became full time. Did you, a was your, what, was it a, was it an art school or did you have some I other? I have a, a BFA in, in painting from Ohio University. Okay. And uh, did a few shows along the way, worked a couple of jobs, did some substitute teaching. Yeah. And um, a little bit of just like warehouse work. Okay. Go in and decided that really wasn't what, what I wanted. Thought about going back to, to college for some education courses and decided I'd be much happier if this would work. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and it seems to have worked out reasonably well. Yeah. How? At what point did did the the art show venue uh, work into your plans? Pretty much right right from the beginning. There were a lot of little shows. And you were in the Northeast. There was I, sort of a head start on the art show scene correct. out there. I, I grew up in, in Connecticut. Yeah. And at that time, and then we're going back like mid 70s, early 70s. Right. When it started. There were a lot of very inexpensive shows. A lot of shows that were $25. Sure. Wow. $30. Wow. Those are those are long gone days. And have have the, the long horizontal things that I mean are just your absolute hallmark. Has that been with us for, I mean, it's, it's been with me for a long time, but how long has that been your well, for, your for signature? The, the first 20 years or so of my career out here, I was doing paintings that, that focused very much on the barns and the houses. Right. Uh, with the landscape being very secondary. Yes. And in about 1995 or so, and I, and I was painting in oils entirely. 1995, uh, I, I changed over to acrylics, and part of it was going to the Midwest for shows, but the initial inspiration, probably because I went to school in Ohio, was a painting that I'd, I'd done in, in the, the very early 70s, so like 20 years prior. It was very similar to what I do now, not quite as extreme, but it was all about that horizon line with right. one little building on it. And I'd, I'd won an award at a show in Connecticut from some very I'm on to high, something. highly reputable judges, and you know I'm just barely out there. Yeah, you know, and it well, it's so and, dang so I doing effective. The same things and big. Yeah, and it, it clicked right away. Well, I mean, you get the idea, and of course, you know, I'm from the Midwest, and so it certainly resonates with me. The uh, that wide open spaces. And I love this piece that you have in front because the truck kind of takes center stage, but you get that perspective with the house back there. You must all have, have a little, little secondary house some, somewhere right. within right. the piece. Just to show that the, whatever that focal point is, is not a, all alone out there on the horizon. And we all have our uh, likes and dislikes about doing shows. What's your favorite part? I mean, I, I, I love everything that everybody else doesn't like. I like the travel, yeah, which a lot of artists hate. I do too. Totally like it. A lot of my inspiration comes from those trips. Well, that seems pretty apparent. That makes perfect sense. And where I live in Massachusetts, we don't have these wide open spaces. Right. So when I get out to Ohio and you know, through Kansas or Missouri or anywhere, I'm getting lots of reference for more paintings. It's funny you should say that because I too really like to road trip and I really like trees and woods, but when I get into the Northeast, I get almost claustrophobic. I mean, it's almost as though it's closing in on me. Very different from what you have in the Midwest. Very different. Very, very yeah. different. And, and it's a beautiful country. Oh yeah. It, it just, it's just and, different. And there's a lot of New England painters that paint that. Yeah. I do a few shows up there, but I really haven't gotten into it. I, I used to paint some when I painted more, and more I, normal conventional shapes. 
I don't remember many of your uh, pieces representing sunrises or sunsets. Is this something kind of new? I don't do a lot of them. It's a little bit new. I usually do fairly simple plain skies. Yeah. I'm trying to get a little bit more involved. And started with, with doing a lot of storms, which which I focus on for a lot of the pieces. Sure. You know, but the, the sunset is, is very new. Yeah, that's, that's that, I thought that his, I thought that looked big quite new. And look at this, a major award winner. That is one, you know, you want to salute a ribbon like that, right? Good job. Thank you. It's always an honor, isn't it? I mean, there's so much good work out here, and they pick a handful. This and is a great show. It's an honor. This is a great really show. Is. This, is a, this is the first opportunity I've had to do it, and uh, it's really been terrific. It's well run. It has a great history. I've, I've done this for, for quite a while, and they, they run a class show. Yeah. The committee's really nice and accessible. It's where we want to be. Exactly. Are you uh, planning anything? If you're you're still not too old to evolve, you see yeah. some changes coming in your work? Anything new you're pursuing? I'm looking at making some of them a little bit simpler. I used to be much more heavily involved in the, in the detail and the pieces. Yeah. Make them a little bit simpler. But I can't get away from the detail. I still enjoy doing it, and I'm never going to be an abstract painter. Just, just trying to go a little bit more abstract, or, right? Or more contemporary in the design of the pieces. Just the so, composition, so with kind the, of, with the detail in mind. Yeah. Well, I just love it, and you. Uh, it seems as though this you saw you there are quite a few empty spots on the wall, which is exactly what we want to see at this stage of the show because we're just okay. we're just wrapping it up. <laughs> uh, but like down below here on on Friday morning at the beginning, that you had just it was almost a pencil thin. It was uh, five eighths of an inch by forty eight. That was awesome. I loved it. There's no surprise that's gone. And uh, do you have an online presence at all? Do you have a website? Yes, I do. And what's that? It's Backroach Gallery number two.com okay good uh because i think one thing i'm impressed with is you know s s your prices are really very reasonable Thank you. i think um very approachable for people so check it out because uh this is great work and i've enjoyed it for so long and to finally get a chance to be your neighbor at a show it's been fun it has been fun uh it's especially fun because we've done well that makes it more fun. And it didn't rain. And it, and it didn't rain and it again. didn't blow. And uh, I didn't throw up on anything or embarrass myself too badly. So <laughs> it's <laughs> life, life is really good. Survived another one. Yeah. So at any rate, thank you, Bruce. It's uh, It's been great being your neighbor. And I, I know everybody's going to have loved meeting you. Thank Thanks you. Thanks a lot. Thank you, Jake.